Welcome to Meaningful Mornings. The quote that will be shared with everyone this morning, I'm sharing with all of you in advance. This is like a private screening. <laughs> when life blesses you financially, don't raise your standard of living do raise your standard of giving. When life blesses you financially, don't. That is a yama. Raise your standard of living. Do. That is a niyama. Raise your standard of giving. Reflect on how much you spend on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And now reflect on how much you devote to Giving Tuesday. In our workshop yesterday, I was sharing that the culture of the happiness series is simplicity and support. There is a lot of culture to Meaningful Mornings one facet of this culture is to be a giving personality. Why? Because this helps us to go back to be like a child, to be childlike. Children give freely, unconditionally. That is a strong virtue to live by. Adults, we give hesitating, conditionally. And that's why children laugh more and adults laugh less. Reflect on this quote. When I was in the ashram, I arrived in August of 2005. I through my business background, knew that I should befriend the people who work in the kitchen. <laughs> there are privileges that come with <laughs> befriending those who work in the kitchen. So I did. And one of those privileges was I got to go into the kitchen without permission. And I would interact with the kitchen workers and also secretly eat gur. <laughs> Jaggery was not available to all, <laughs> but I secretly found my way to that. In my interactions with the kitchen workers, they had invited me. They knew that I liked soccer, so they invited me to watch the World Cup with them. In 2006, the World Cup was being hosted and organized, so that night at 10 o'clock, my, I turned my lights off and I turned my alarm on at 1 a.m. and secretly joined the kitchen staff <laughs> in their quarters and watched the World, <laughs> World Cup as Italy had won. You're all thinking, there's Vivekchi continuing with his rants and then he complains that he doesn't have enough time. <laughs> but I'm trying to share with you is that if you love a person or a purpose, you will find a way to be with that purpose or person. See how I, I was in the middle of Mumbai with a group of strangers, but I found the world cup. 
<laughs> the yajnas that we flowed through are practices in loving what we do. If you love what you do, this becomes a means to being. Being and joyous, those are synonyms. And how practical is this? If you don't like what you do, then you try to escape from that, correct? Holidays, holidays, holidays. The yajnas that we flowed through, I tried to provide an active practice. I hope you've come to understand and appreciate that I've shared 12 verbs with you. Each one, a verb, check, delay, bow, save, talk, use, choose, enjoy, listen, unitas, walk, stay. We're already engaged in these verbs. We simply have to do this with more liking, more loving. The only verb we may not be engaged in is unitasking. Like some of you right now, as you're eating and cleaning and, and so on. <laughs> in verse 30, the completion of the yajnas is highlighted. And Sri Krishna shares, for those who are disciplined, they are living in heaven. And then naturally, those who are indisciplined, those who don't like what they do, they are living in hell. And what's quite fascinating about this, the indisciplined think the disciplined are living in hell, correct? <laughs> those people in your home who are sleeping in right now, they think you're in hell. <laughs> and the disciplined feel the indisciplined are living in hell. Those of you who are awake, you feel if I had to sleep in, I wouldn't be happier. In verse 31, yajna shishta. This means the remnants of a yajna. Amrita bhujaha. The one who consumes this. Yanti brahma sanatanam. They go to or repair to. Brahman, which means infinity. Sanatanam means forever. Nayam lokaha asti ayagnesya. For the one who does not engage in dedication and sacrifice, then they don't gain this world. Kutaha anyaha guru sattama Arjuna. They don't gain this world. There's no question about them gaining another world. This is the translation. I'll explain. Verse 31 to 33, verses 31 to 33, is presenting the then. The yagnas are if. Now there's a then. In Sanskrit, if there's a karma, there's going to be a pala. This is the pala shruti. This describes what one will get. Instead of the word pala, I want you to reflect on this as prasada. Prasada is that which you taste and then you smile. Like jaggery, correct? <laughs> Mine was more stealing than prasada. <laughs> For those who live by yajna, they taste internal joy. These yajnas are not about getting, they're about giving, but one feels more joyous. And it is that taste that evolves to a, I need this. I love this. These yagnyas lead one to independent joy. This yagnya shishta, yanti brahma, leads one to experiencing independent joy. 
Ayagnesia, those who are not dedicated, which means they don't sacrifice, they never experience success. And I'm consciously using this word. Success is a very secular word. If you think of people you know in your life who are successful, it's because they were dedicated to their family, to their profession. Agreed? But if one is not dedicated, then they don't experience success. Now, this is not a secular workshop. This is a sacred workshop. For those who are not dedicated, they do not live by yajna. They do not experience integration. A <laughs> benefit of dharma, it is that which integrates. Dharma, yajna, they're synonymous. If I don't live by this, there's no integration, which means there will not be any contemplation. And I've shared repeatedly, we have to learn to contemplate to be content. No contemplation, no meditation. Meditation is that contentment. It is our nature. That's what Sri Krishna is sharing here, that if you don't integrate yourself today, you're not going to be able to contemplate tomorrow and you will not experience meditation forever. We continue to verse 32. Evam bahuvida yagnyaha vitata brahmano muke karma jan viditan sarvan evam nyatva vimoksha se evam nyatva vimoksha se evam bahuvida yagnyaha all <coughs> of these diverse yajnas, or practices and dedication. What is the source of all of this? Vitata Brahmano Mukhe. These all come from, these all lead to the mouth of Brahman. A very poetical, very poetic teaching here. I'll elaborate. Sanatana Dharma or Hinduism, is a monotheistic polytheism. Monotheistic polytheism, which means oneness expresses as manyness. Is everyone in sync with me? Okay. Brahman expresses as Bhagavan which expresses as Shastra. For everyone who was in my Hinduism 101 course, which I taught last summer, the whole course was structured around these facets. Now in English, we have a lot of English speakers who join us for Meaningful Mornings, especially through Instagram. See that checking in with them? <laughs> Infinity expresses as divinity, which expresses as facility. The Shastra is a facility, that which facilitates us feeling divinity, us feeling infinity. That's what's shared in the first line. These yajnas are a means to the Ends. The second line, this everyone must be careful with because this is most empowering. Karma Jan Vidhi Tan Sarvan. Prince Arjuna, you should know that these yagnas are born of action. You can't be dedicated in a passive way, correct? As simple as <coughs> I've shared with all of you, the need for your cameras to be on, your names to be written, to not have a digital background, 
because there's an openness and a respect, you are more active. Evam yatva vimokshase. By knowing this, you will be free. The implication of this, we are already doing these actions. Remember all of the verbs I told you about? I said we're doing all of these, staying and listening and so on, just not unitasking enough. <laughs> we're already doing this. Sri Krishna is now encouraging us to do this with dedication. Don't make this about you. Make this about the purpose. The purpose is to evolve. For me to follow this path to the infinite. All of these paths, <laughs> 12 of them are shared. Dot, dot, dot. Why are there so many? Because there's that many different types of people. For some of you, you're more tuned into Anayagya. Good. For others, you're more tuned into Dravya Yagya. Good. But the Prasad is the same for all of these Yagnas. Whether you're dedicated to your family or dedicated to the community or dedicated to society, if your purpose is evolution, the same Prasad will be experienced. And how do you know if you're tasting this prasad? Prince Arjuna is suffering with moha, bhaya, and shoka. The opposite of moha is you will experience more clarity. The opposite of bhaya, you will experience more courage. And the opposite of shoka, you'll experience more cheer. How do you know if you're transforming what you're doing into dedicating? More clarity, more courage, more cheer. All of this is leading us to contentment. Throughout chapter two, I shared. Sri Krishna's message is about contentment. The one who is infinite is content. From inspiration to application. Your application yesterday was to be part of the Happiness Series 5. The culture of the Happiness Series is simplicity and support. To me, the Happiness Series is our end of the year party. <laughs> Different workplaces have Christmas parties. Families have Thanksgiving gatherings. The happiness series is our community's celebration. And that's why I'm again asking all of you to be part of this for my benefit. Forget about your benefit. Let, let Vivek be selfish. Do this for me. <laughs> and do this through Zoom. I'm always stunned at how passive we've become in terms of learning. Everyone wants a recording. But all that you love, you will make time for, correct? You will be active in. So you be part of Zoom. Let those who are new and not exposed to the culture of our community, let them join through YouTube. So your application continues. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Be safe, be sound, be serene, be happiness.